Hey guys, Faye here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a hangout quest. I'm kind of excited. I I, I love I love the character we're going to hang out with. Uh, <laughs> hello, BB. Oh my God, he's so he's just so. I've taken a look at your proposal. Why it's do I have three hearts with him? Showed me before, what did I do to make him upset? I'd still like to make some changes. Come on, not again. Isn't this the sixth proposal I've shown you? What's your issue this time? Oh. Mm. It's okay, Captain. It's a bit hard to I'm put here. into words. But the design still doesn't look quite right to me. I have to say, that's a terribly vague and unconvincing explanation. Please enlighten me. What would feel more right to you? Mm. For starters, don't you think this roof is jutting out a bit too far from the top? It looks almost like the head of a fungus. You look like the head of a fungus. Shut up. This door, too. I don't think it needs to be nearly this large. If you could reduce it to around my height, uh. you could use the leftover materials to construct a few more rooms. I... <sighs> the roof and the door are the most fundamental parts of a building. We were to change them, then what would be left of the design? No, even poor if the soul of the building won't be lost, all traces of architectural style would be gone. Anyone with the slightest inkling of architectural knowledge would know to leave them alone. Oh, I understand the principles of what you are saying, of course, but the truth remains that I'm still a bit unhappy with the design as is. Is there anything else that you can do? Oh, actually, I just got an idea. Can we get rid of all the extraneous sections on the roof? So the whole design will just be one vertical structure, uh, similar to that of a tree trunk? I'm gonna smack this man across the face. What? Don't I'm gonna rip out his lip cubes, everything more his mustache. Pleasing to the eye. This way, the proportions will be completely balanced. I... I really don't know how you managed to come up with such a ridiculous idea. Wait, don't tell me. Someone hired you specifically to commission me and put me through the ringer? Come to think of it, though, I really don't think I've gotten on anyone's bad side recently. Anyway, that's it. I will not be working on this commission anymore. Goodbye. Maybe you can find yourself some other genius who'll be able to satisfy your demands. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, hey, come back. Young man, please wait. Oh, uh, bro is completely upset. Those hearts went down so much. Kave, no, my love. Kave looks like he's in a bad mood. I should go check up on him. Damn right you will. Go, 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 go comfort your boyfriend, Ahitham. Where are we going? In here. All right, enter tavern. I've never seen. Oh! My boy, what is wrong? Taking this commission was truly the worst decision ever. Are you all right, Kabe? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, I wasn't expecting to run into you here. Hello. Oh my gosh, your eyes. Actually, Can you do my eye that, makeup? What are you doing here at the tavern? Don't listen to anyone who says that drinking is an elegant pastime. It's no good for your health. <laughs> I followed you here like a stalker. Uh, I saw you arguing with someone just now. Uh, so you saw that, did you? Yes, I did. Oh, I thought I was in the clear. I made sure to double check that nobody I knew was around. No, oh, I'm sorry, Kave. Uh, anyway, thanks for looking out for me. Honestly, it wasn't that big of a deal. I'm used to it by now. That's not Stress good. Stress is just an inescapable part of being a working adult. Boss, I'll have a glass of wine. Same as last time. Do you want something too? I'll put it on my tab. I'll have a glass of juice. I'm a miner. <laughs> wine and a glass of juice coming right up. Uh, Kave, no. I know you're already keeping a You good? Plan, but if you could add this one to the list as well, I'd really appreciate it. Arguing with a client is not a good look for me. If word gets out, other potential clients might be afraid to work with me. Okay, Kave. That guy, though. What was he even going on about? All those ridiculous demands of his? 
He's just a blabbering fool trying to act like a know-it-all. Cave seems a lot more honest after he's had some wine. Man, why did why did we let him drink in the first place? Glass, please, boss. No! I'm not leaving today till someone has to carry me out. No, we're not no. No. Here's your drink. Hmm. How are you already spouting nonsense after just one glass? Your tolerance is usually much better than that. I'll hate them, help. Boss, I don't know what to do. What do you think is the meaning of art? <laughs> yeah, I like it drunk coffee. He's the meaning funny. Meaning of art? Really, my friend, who in Sumeru understands art better than you? Exactly, bro. Anyway, I don't know about art, but I do know that I'm interested in business, and some patrons are waiting to be served. Uh. So, you'll have to excuse me for now. Just holler if you need anything. Okay, goodbye, sir. What do you think, traveler? I think we need I'll hate them. Uh, art is something that resonates with the masses. Something that embodies the creator's of efforts and dedication. I honestly have no idea. Exactly. So our <laughs> and the meaning of art are rather similar. Why did he snap? He's just a precious little baby. In I Sumeru, love him. He's funny. Especially Sumeru of the past. The arts are not a popular discussion topic. I can see that. Trying to talk about the arts is basically the key to killing any conversation. It's too bad that I'm not in my best form today. Otherwise, we could have talked about this for a little longer. He looks like he's about to pass out. How, how can I help him cheer up? I don't know. Maybe I should play it safe and just make a simple suggestion. Uh, let's do something else to clear your mind. Sounds great to me. I don't even want to think about this project anymore. But what should we do? It's probably not a good idea to just drink until I pass out here. No, I'm not calling you Hatham. Um, why did you decide to become an architect? Huh? Arch 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 <laughs> uh, it came from my brain cells. I mean, it's not like it's some kind of secret. You probably already know some bits and pieces of my past. Uh, a little bit. My mother is also an architect. I've always adored her drawings. And when I was young, I used to sit next to her and watch her bring all kinds of buildings to life on paper. You could say my interest in architecture just naturally grew with time. Would she be able to understand how you're feeling right now? Perhaps. In fact, I have also seen my mother argue with her clients but she would always quickly find the motivation to return to her work. Aww. Unfortunately, I've barely had any contact with her since she remarried and moved abroad. Where did she move to? Even if I wanted to ask her about her ability to stay positive after an argument, it would seem rude to barge into her life again over something as trivial as that. I did remember something else, though. When my mother left, she only carried some small personal luggage with her. She left most of the belongings in the house to me. At the time, she even told me that it would be great if I could learn a few lessons from her life experiences, so my life and career could go a little more smoothly. I hadn't quite come to grips with my emotions, and didn't really have it in me to go through any sentimental items, so I just packed anything with memories away in a box and haven't reopened it since. Ah, I love him! It's been a really long time. Now that so many years have passed, Maybe I oh finally developed God. the maturity I need to face those memories without losing my mind. Yeah. I should dig it out and take a look. Oh. Can I come with you? Uh, huh? Ah, uh, uh, sorry. I've had too much to drink and wasn't thinking clearly. You're right. I should do these kinds of things with the support of a friend. Uh, speaking of that... I can call you a friend now, right? Yes. Either way, yes, you can. thanks for reminding me that I can invite you to come Best along. friends. Had I just gone back by myself, it would have looked like I'm deliberately trying to keep things from you. Ugh, thinking too hard about the words is giving me a headache, so I'll just give it to you straight. <clears throat> thanks to your advice, I have decided to put my current projects on pause for now, and spend some time trying to rekindle the passion for my craft <laughs> if you want to stick around and see how this will turn out you'll be sure to encounter some bits and pieces of my past do you uh, think yes find that please too boring i want to find more i want to i want to know right. more about you then let's head back together i mean 
You already know where I live. <laughs> I have it marked on a map. Who knew that the day would come when I too would have some friends over? Let me see. I should have tidied up the place before I left the house this morning. I'll hate them shouldn't be home now either. He's usually in the records room at this time of the day. Anyway, there's no more time for drinks. I'll go take care of the bill. I also love how it says I'll hate them's house and not Kaveh's house. I loved, I loved them so much. <laughs> it's so funny. Hmm. <gasps> Tainari! What am I supposed to do now? Ah, forget it. I'll just head back. Tainari! Hello! Tainari? What are you doing here? Oh, it's you. Dendro bros. Good to finally see you again. I came into the city to buy some experiment reagents, hoping to bring them back with me to Gandarvaville. But as soon as I got here, I noticed someone banging on Cyrus's door. Ooh. You've all heard of Cyrus, right? He's an ex-sage and Sino's adoptive father. I don't think we've met him. <laughs> Do we get to meet Sino's dad? <laughs> That granny over there may appear old and frail, but her vocal cords certainly sound loud and healthy as ever. Granny? Yeah, she's just over there. You can go check out the situation yourselves in a moment. <laughs> Kave, were you at the tavern? Oh no! Uh... I had a quick drink or two. Can you still smell the alcohol? Drinking in broad daylight. Really? You want to pass out by the road and he's going to tell I hate them beast like some mindless fungus, huh? And you traveler, I try to stop him. I wanted to. There is not an uh, option for me to. You look like a wreck, Kave. What happened? Are you feeling down again? <laughs> Tainari being a therapist for Kave. I live for this. I'm hosting a meal at Pardis the Eye tomorrow. Evening. Ooh. Do you want to come? Uh huh. Oh, I had no idea. Uh, let me think for a moment. Yes, uh, we're going. I'll come if I can find some time. Kave, we're going. Right. Then I'll plan on reserving two seats for you. <laughs> I'll be heading back to Gandarvaville for now. I have a feeling that argument over there is going to continue for quite some time. Ha! So, uh. plan on keeping yourself locked in there, huh? Fine by me. If you're not going to come out, then I'm not going to leave. She turned into a Karen. <laughs> My tomato was growing so well, it had all the potential to become the best tomato this year. Oh, okay, you that makes cut sense. It straight from the vine. She's she's angry. I already told you I had nothing to do with it. Why would I take a tomato that's still weeks from ripening? You'd have to be awfully green as an investigator to think it was me. <laughs> I see where Sido got his jokes from. <laughs> it's so good. You see the word green. Oh my god. The color of the tomato and the fact that your skills could use some. Enough. Just come it's out so and good. Face me, it's so good. I know where Sino got his jokes from now. Uh, <laughs> mind if I've actually done something. Wrong, then get a mantra and pull me out by force, why don't you? Yes, let's grab your son. Oh, why? Don't tell me this is Professor Zahahadi. And who are you? Oh, Kave. Fancy. Kave. <laughs> I've grown oh, old. Man. Come on, get over here and let the professor take a good look at you. Ew. Not bad, not bad. You've grown taller again. Um, Professor, what's going on here? Ah, uh, it's no big deal, really. A few of us old scholars got bored in our retirement and decided to put together a vegetable growing competition. At the end, whoever loses will have to go up on stage and do a performance for the winners. Which brings us to our current predicament. <laughs> My tomato was sure to win until a certain someone decided they couldn't bear to lose. Hey, don't try to defame me in front of the kids. If we're airing out each other's dirty laundry now, then why don't we talk about you sneaking into Janat's garden? <gasps> Janat. <clears throat> Lucky for you. How dare you, ma'am? Their respects today has put me in a better mood. 
I'll let you off the hook. For now. Come on, let's go. We'll take our conversation elsewhere. No, Either I want to talk to Sino's dad. <laughs> He's funny. Uh, uh, yes, uh, of course. Is Farnak still doing well? Yes, as far as I know. Uh. She left for Fontaine some time ago and started a new life for herself. She's still doing work related to architecture, though. Is that his mom? Dang, she left Fontaine. Ah, yes. I did hear about that. Did that upset you at all? No, not at all. She's already sacrificed a lot raising me as a single mother. That's good no, to hear. No, I wanted to, he, I wanted to meet his mom. Those few years. It's probably a good thing that she found a new place to call home. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wonder if things were harder for her because she was so beautiful. I'm sure she had many difficult moments in her life. How did she cope with the stress? I'm not too sure. She never talked about such things with me. She rarely opened up to other people, you know. I do remember one time, though, when she got into a heated argument with a friend. She said something I found very memorable. She said, True art cannot be understood, but as an artist, I wish some people could understand its meaning and value. If you ask uh, me, gasp. that's probably the greatest source of pain for geniuses of their craft. It's extremely hard for them to find someone who can truly understand their ideas. So that's how it is. I wonder if the password could be... Um, acknowledgement? Mm -hmm. I tried both just now. Uh, seems those aren't it either. What are you trying to do? My mother left her notebook to me, but it has a password and I haven't figured out what it is yet. I'm trying to learn more about her so I'd have a better chance at cracking the code. Thank you for all that you told us, but could he understand the designs my mother made? No, I think they were probably beyond him too. But despite that, he still stayed next to her, listening to her joys and sharing in her sorrows. Barnack had many admirers, but she ended up choosing your father. His support probably played a part in that decision. Hmm. So instead of understanding, perhaps all we need is just companionship. Maybe that's what she was trying to tell you. <sighs> It worked. Oh, oh, did he unlock it? Was that the right password? Yes. Yay! Then you <laughs> be on your way, child. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> to, to you, being the awkward person that she is, I suppose there were many things that Farinet could never say out loud. They all say Zahadid's class is the toughest, but I think it's actually not too bad. On the other hand, though. Structural mechanics is definitely a pain, no matter how you try to approach it. <sighs> I doubled down and managed to get through it in the end. I met someone special. At first, I didn't think much of him. <laughs> but now, I feel very happy whenever I get to spend time with him. Just like Kamehameha, I hate them. <laughs> oh! Is this a drawing? Seems like it was done by my mother. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, it's it's Tainari's mom, I think, and then and then and then maybe the dad maybe and then oh, oh, I hate them oh, I hate them's dad and Sino's dad. That's what Cyrus looks like. This blonde man was probably my father. Who are the other people in the picture? <laughs> Why do a few of them look somewhat familiar? Yeah, they do seem familiar. From the dates in the notebook, she probably drew this more than 30 years ago. <laughs> I hadn't even been born yet. Time skip. Been many poorly written applications lately. Alright. Oh, oh, oh! The boys! Yes! I want to see all hate them here. I want, I want, why is all hate them not here? <laughs> it's okay, I brought <laughs> I snorted. <laughs> I know. Oh, them also got my invite. Oh! Right? Will he be coming to join us? Please? <laughs> that guy, he's never been a fan of social gatherings. 
I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. No, please, I want him to come. Are you sure? All right, then. I guess we won't wait for him. No, yeah, please. No. Uh, I mean, maybe we should give him a little more time. We can keep chatting for a while longer. Oh, sure. <laughs> you still haven't told me. What's the occasion for getting us together here at Pardis DI? We're celebrating the end of the first phase of Kale's studies. I wanted to thank you all for the help you've given her along the way. Aww. Then where's Kale? Yeah, where is Kale? <laughs> she said she wanted to show everyone a bit of what she's learned, so she's still doing some last minute prep at home. She'll be here shortly. Okay, okay, anyway, good. Let's get started. <sighs> to tell you the truth, I'm actually not so confident that the second phase will go as well as the first. It's it, no, the it's fine. Have confidence in your child. And I'm worried that she won't be able to get through all of it. I was hoping we could brainstorm about it together before she gets here. I knew this wouldn't be just a simple free dinner. Is that why you also invited all Haytham? Uh, lol. Yes. I thought it would be good if we could all put our heads together about this. Anyway, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. What did you guys do when you ran into a problem that you didn't know how to solve? Or got assigned a project that you knew you weren't going to finish on time? Never happened to me. <laughs> Jesus, Sino. <laughs> I'd just pull another all-nighter. You two are hopeless. Does anyone have a more <laughs> Thank useful you, answer to question? Perhaps you could adjust the pace of the curriculum? Ooh, that's a good point. Confidence is the most important thing. Once you lose your sense of confidence, it'll become all but impossible to find the motivation to study. Yes, sir, Kave. Hmm. This could be a potential direction. I have already redesigned the literacy curriculum, and I was originally hoping to ask Al Haytham for his opinion, but it's very simple. Instead of oh my God, he's the here! Amount of material you would like to teach. Focus on the amount the student would be able to remember. He's here, my boy! <laughs> wow, you actually showed up. It's a double day. I should, I should leave. I feel like a fifth wheel. Gatherings like this on just one hand. Hey. It's still more than the number of times you've managed to get a proposal approved on the first try. Hmm. As long as you're still aware. So, what made the difference this time? You looking to drink your sorrows away with some friends? Stop projecting onto your boyfriend. That's your purpose. For ah! Not mine. Don't project your ways of thinking onto me. <laughs> so you're saying the only reason you came is to help Tainari with his brainstorming? I'm gonna stop talking. Precisely. Kale will have a long road in front of her. Okay, he's so pretty. I love how Just to get one thing clear, even if Kale manages to make her way to the academia, we cannot let her enroll in her avatar. Kasharwar is obviously the best choice for her. She's been a trainee forest ranger for so long, she'll definitely be good with her hands. What are you saying? Spontamad is the better choice. It's where I graduated from, after all. Sino, no. <laughs> I love you, but no. That's the Darshan her master actually graduated from. There are only two other Darshans left. We might as well select all of them on her enrollment application. You? I'm trying to have a serious discussion here. Traveler, you aren't associated with any of the huh? six Darshans. In your opinion, which Darshan would be the best choice for Kale? I think she should get through the second phase of her studies first, well, and so. then we decide. <laughs> Sino is scaring Agreed. me in the corner. And my goal in inviting you here was to gather some thoughts on the execution of this second phase. Phase two far exceeds phase one in both curriculum complexity and the speed of instruction. I hope Kali has prepared herself for what is coming. Hey, what are you thinking now? Please don't tell me you're planning on lending her those abstruse books from your home library. Actually, I was thinking about lending her a professions guide. Oh! I'll make sure to write, don't become an architect, on the front page of that. Oh my god, Kave. But don't you love your job? <laughs> You're right. Ah! <laughs> He's precious. I'm telling you, that client had no idea what he was talking about. No matter what I did... Who allowed him to have... bad to say about it. Sir... Who allowed you to have more alcohol? Have you considered finding another client? 
Ah, they're all the same. I haven't had a good night's sleep for months now. <clears throat> Who do they think they are, ordering me to alter my design over and over again just because they have some mora? It's too late now to change careers. You might as well try to find some joy in the pain. <laughs> Besides, you'll be getting up in the middle of the night to make edits to your own design even when the client doesn't request it. No. That's not true. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cheer up, Cave. I'll tell you a new joke. All right, all right, all right. Drum roll, please, for Sino. Let us hear it, Sino. We'll save that for the no. Sino. You can keep it to yourself until then. Tainari, I want to hear it. I... Whatever. I'm not going to use my brain anymore. Let's drink tonight to our heart's content. I'm good. Thank you guys. Oh, I hate them. Why does he look so depressed? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, leave a like and a comment. And maybe I'll get Sino to tell me some of his dad jokes. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time when I do the alternate endings. Goodbye!